Hi everyone, welcome back to Paracord Planet. I don't know about you, but myself personally, I am a giant comic book fan. I've been having so much fun watching all the movies and now the TV shows that have been all over the place, with one show in particular ending just last week. So that TV show did give us the inspiration for the colors that we'll be using today, but do want to give a shout out to a Russian creator who came up with today's weave. Now he called it the symbiotic weave, but we're going to be doing a tiny bit of a variation on that. So today we have the marvelous symbiotic weave. With that in mind, let's get paracording. So in today's video, as you can see, we already have our jig set up and ready to go with our four core inner strands. We have the four cores in Imperial Red 550 Paracord, and we have started this off with 20 feet. We're probably not gonna need that much, but I'd rather have too much than too little. The accent cord that we'll be using today is yellow reflective in 550 paracord, and we have 10 feet of that already ready to go. And then about three quarters of the way down the weave, we are going to be switching over to electric blue. We'll be trading out our imperial red, and this is in 550 as well, probably only going to need about five to 10 feet. And of course, in addition to all that, we have our lighter, our scissors, and we got our knotter tool. So to start the weave, you can see that we have a four strand core going down our jig. If you need a reminder on how to set up the four strand core, we're gonna put a link in the description below. Once you have that set up, the first step is to take a lancing needle and to put it on your yellow reflective and then lance it through the cow hitch that we have on our buckle. Now we have already done this, so this is what you should look like after you have pierced the reflective yellow through. Our next step is we're going to singe down the one end of our yellow reflective and we do want that to be flush with the buckle and the cow hitch at the top. So the way that we're going to do this, we're going to take the buckle off of the jig for just a second. We're going to grab our lighter, we're going to burn down this end, and we're going to use our knotter tool to flatten it out. Once you've done that and your yellow reflective is not going anywhere, it's time to begin the weave. So the first step of our weave, we're going to take our left working strand, we're going to go under the first two inner strands, we're going to bring it back up through the middle, and then we're going to take that strand and bring it back to the side that we had just brought it from, which of course in this instance would be the left side. So when you're done, you should have something that looks like the number six looped into the middle of your inner strands. Our next step, we're going to take our yellow reflective 550 paracord, and we're going to go in between the leftmost and the inner left strands. So we're going to come down through that. We're going to twist it around the loop we had made with the imperial red, and we're going to bring that cord right back through and again, we're going to bring it off to the right side this time. So in this instance, you want to have the imperial red going below and up through the middle, and then your yellow reflective going down and looping around just the bottom half of your imperial red. Once you have that, you can cinch them down. Since we brought the reflective yellow from the right over to the left side, now we're going to take the rest of that paracord, bring it over to the left, and then that way you just know exactly where you are in the step. Our next step is we're going to do the exact same thing, but on the right side now. We're going to take our right working strand, we're going to go under the right two cords, up through the middle, and bring that strand back over to the right. And in this case, we're going to form a backwards six. With the yellow reflective, we're going to do the exact same thing as we did on the first pass. We're going to go in between the rightmost and the inner right cores. We're going to loop it around the bottom half of our imperial red loop. We're going to bring it back through and bring it off to the left. Once you have that completed, you can cinch everything up. And in this case, I do like to push down on the weave itself while pulling up on the strand just to make sure that you are getting the tightest wrap possible. And then just like we did last time with our yellow to remember what step we're on, we're gonna take it, we're gonna move it over to the right. And right here, we are right back to where we started. So we're going to again, take our left imperial red working strand under the first two, up through the middle, 
and bring it back to the side you just came from. In this case, that would be the left side. With our reflective yellow, we are going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go between the leftmost and the inner leftmost. We're going to go around the loop that we had made with our imperial red, back up through, and off to the right. And at this stage, you can cinch down both your reflective yellow and your imperial red. Now at this stage, we're just going to continue going from right to left to right to left to right to left. And we'll come back to the video whenever we're ready to switch out our imperial red for our electric blue. So here we are back at our weave and we are about three quarters of the way through and we're going to be switching over our imperial red for now our electric blue. And the way that we're going to do this is pretty simple. We're just going to cut and singe the two cords together and then just continue the weave down and we will have this electric blue coming out instead of the imperial red. I'm also going to be doing it a little bit up on our red cord here. Hopefully that way when we do the next loop, it'll hide that burn mark in the back of the weave. And to connect the two cords together, I always like to take it off the jig and make sure that I'm melting both of the ends that I want to put onto each other at the same time, just so one doesn't cool off faster than the other. Be sure not to touch that melt mark or you will burn yourself. Like someone is doing right now as we're speaking. And there's our first one. We're going to do the exact same thing to the right strand. Now that we have our electric blue singed on to our imperial red, we can put our bracelet back on the jig. And here, we're just going to continue the weave now. So now that we have come to the end of our bracelet, one of the things that we love to do here at Paracord Planet, and if you've checked out our previous videos, is make sure that the cords that we are working with end up in the back so we can cut them and singe them in the back so they're not showing on the face of our bracelet. Now, in the case of the electric blue, all we did was take the working strand, we wrapped it around like the pattern has been doing the entire bracelet, and then we just looped it through one of the electric blue loops that we had made previously. In this case, it is the second one up for the left working strand and the second one up for the right working strand. They're gonna end in the back, just like they are. We're gonna cut and singe them down. But first, we got one more thing to do, and that is to hide our reflective yellow that has been going down the middle of our pattern. And again, we want the working strand to end in the back. We have attached our lancing needle to our reflective yellow, and all we're going to do is do what the pattern would normally do, so it would cross back over top of itself and go behind the bracelet anyway. So we are just going to do that to finish this one off. So that strand does end in the back, as you can see, and it does look like the pattern is just continuing until it does just taper off at the end. The pattern looking perfect until it gets to the end. That's what we're looking for. Our last step is to just cut and singe down our excess paracord. So with that cut and singed, we have completed our marvelous symbiotic bracelet, and I do have to say I love this bracelet. If you followed us on previous bracelet tutorials, you know that one of my niches is I don't like too thick of a bracelet. I like a real thin bracelet. This one, I'd say... Hmm, not thick to medium thick. I, mean, I don't know what that range would be in between there, but it is a tiny bit thicker, not too thick where I feel it's uncomfortable for a bracelet. So of course we did choose these colors because I'm a giant comic book fan and based on one TV series just coming to a close, but of course you can choose any colors that you would like to or you could represent anything that you would want to as well. So because we did use Imperial Red as the core of our bracelet and then use that same strand as our working strands, you might need a little bit more of the Imperial Red. I would say 10 feet, you're going to be fine, especially if you're going to be cutting it about three quarters of the way through the bracelet like we did in this one. 
For our reflective yellow, we did start off with a 10-foot hank. That's what we sell in our stores. But we did use only, I'd say, about two to three feet of that entire hank. So you should be good if you do have some scraps laying around the house. And if you do plan to split your working strands like we did with our Imperial Red into Electric Blue, the secondary color, probably only going to need about five feet of that, as again, it is only the bottom quarter of your bracelet. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and if it did help you, a like and subscribe is always appreciated. Of course, if there's anything you want to see in a future video, let us know down in the comments below. Also, let us know what colors you decided to use, or if you have done a bracelet or a weave based off of another comic book character, just let us know in the comments. In fact, anything comic related in the comments below, that'll be awesome. Have yourself a great rest of the day. We'll see you on the next video. Up, up, and away! Oh.